all right guys so it, the impossible has been done but someone actually got rank one eu west with only playing master yi a champion that is well kind of a silver champ you know what i mean it's a silver champion but this guy said i'm gonna get rank one playing master yi his name is scenario one apparently he's like the best master yi ever on this planet because no other master yi could get rank one with that champion and yeah i guess it has to do with the season 13 changes i know the jungle changes definitely helped them a bit so i want to see how this guy carries his master yi games and see how he did it to get rank one with master yi let's check it out okay all right let's go this is stream scenarios you can come on twitch if you guys want um guys you will eat an insane banger ass banger game this game okay i'm gonna explain this one time and one time for all you take the green one in 80 percent of the games because you need the tenacity and the shield in the games where you don't need it you want to have the blue one to have the utility here i can't really annoy that much to see and they don't have too much burst so i'm allowed to go the utility one the blue one um I, okay i can't so i can't question him he just said something about maybe like the knock up and stuff they don't have enough burst I guess Senna isn't bursty. Let's focus up here in this position. Where do we start? I can play for. There is not a lot of burst. He's kind of right. There is a lot of CC. I can probably get a leash. Let's see if he wants to give me a leash. I think Warwick leash is actually fine to take. You don't need to take a Zulu leash here. Um, I want to start rep buff and then maybe maybe level three mid. Best of luck. Level yeah, I appreciate it. Level three mid. Mm let's see what happens here we have control over the map we see his jungle okay this guy that's fine this guy kind of plays um, like ls want to gank level three, he plays more <laughs> to type it early already he plays kind of more uh so hyperactive than i do more clicks your teammate will know when they can prepare the gangs because gangs is not something you just spend tennisly gangs is something where you want to prepare prepare also he didn't start a pot lethal temple triumph alacrity coup de gras humble collection treasure hunter and health uh health rune attack speed adaptive and health he didn't start a pot that's really interesting to me i didn't need to do the last auto attack but i'd rather do it because if it resets it's very shit. okay he didn't get a double strike proc here on the crack one man this guy feels pretty good at ye i don't know his ye just feels better than everyone else's <laughs> i don't know i'm kind of interested to see how this works I'm actually pretty interested in this VOD. This is going to be pretty insane. Not really. It's a risky Gregus could be here. Yeah, no level 2, 3 gank mid. <laughs> so he meditates to get his double strike proc for the wolf camp. I think he's going to meditate. He doesn't... Hmm. He doesn't do an auto attack reset there. Does it to uh, kind of salvage his hit point. I always thought the health bot was really bad too. This clear's insanely fast. He's he's uh yeah, this clear's already done by the way. This is like 305. And you can go get on the map, so this is why he doesn't care about uh Wait, this is actually insanely fast. I I'm not gonna lie, what the hell? Um he doesn't care about uh going pot and he can sacrifice a few times for a level three gank mid. And he's gonna try and gank bot. Is it gonna work? To smite this because he doesn't need it. He's actually gonna meditate right out of the gromp. I assume they don't get dove. Oh holy crap! This guy like spams meditate a lot in jungle. It's pretty cool. I didn't really realize how to use the cooldown that much. Um, because I know it's like a low cooldown. Work does die. But basically, yeah, he actually uses it pretty well. Um, his his Aphelios isn't here. I don't know. If he can do anything. Yes, this is very risky. I don't like it. Hmm. We didn't see Gragas yet on the map. So you can duel Gragas, you just can't get caught out. I would have cute the Senna here to get her HP, but it's really. There's the auto attack reset. Yeah, we'll die. Fuck this reset here by pickaxe. Still don't know where Gragas is. Yeah, he pinched pretty well. He's like all over the map. You know? That's bullshit that means. Always buy control ward if you can. Like on the control wards, you can keep this in mind. If you want to have one control ward placed on the map. 
and the other one you want to have in the sh in the item slots here. Yeah, he's he, he's kind of like it's kind of like he's on a crack, you know. The way he moves his map is really nice. So he always buy control woods. Oh, he executes the small one. Huh. I guess it doesn't matter. Maybe should have pinged better. And he doesn't get the reset. I don't know how he can get the reset on your double strike. That's gonna be hard. He autos the minion, and then he's the big one. Just trying to find camp to do. Um, yeah, he knows that the jungle isn't it. Work. Wow, work lives there. See, I would actually do. No, I don't think I would, because you have a good temple here. But um, if you can get Sorry, this dragon for free, I don't want to pass control here right now. The design is resetting. And we know he did his crux already. He but knows. As we can tell he did some chickens, or he resets and goes topside jungle. Yeah, he's right now on pools. He knows Gragas is at at the top side. He knows this is an easy dragon. He... Okay, guys, he tracks the jungler better than I do. I'm gonna. He knows exactly what the enemy jungler is up to. Okay, this is actually, this is some rake one stuff, you know? All right, hang on. Let's see how he does this. I'm curious how he does a level five dive. And Master Yugank, what is this? Very risky. Oh. <laughs> Exploded. I, I'd say it was... That was... Holy crap. I, 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 I am not staying here. That was a very forced gank, in my opinion. It worked out pretty well, though. It's actually really good. Midwave is fine. I'm actually pretty sad they couldn't kill... Uh, they cracks into wrap up now. They couldn't kill the science. Mike, very quiet. Hard to hear. Oh, wait, is it better now? I'm just talking a little... I think it's better now, no? Should be. Now I'm talking more loud. I actually like the gank though. Uh, I just kind of was curious how he played it. And it went out pretty well. I thought he would do um, something under the that turret, you know? Extremely loud right now. Wait. Is it really quiet, guys? Or is it better now? It is better. Wait, you can't hear me. You're level Very six here. Yeah. And that was spicy. Not his gameplay. Whatever I just ate. Okay. He's not cute. Oh, he did cute. He's looking for something. I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see how he plays level six. This is interesting. So most masteries go farm and do random crap. But you can see this guy. He likes to uh, get ganks on bot lane with his mid laner. Translate all that stuff. He's, he knows how to play bot side. He's, I don't know. Most master use kind of like power farm, like YOLO level six. So this guy actually like ganks pre six, puts a lot of map pressure, attracts the enemy jungler. Like basically, put put a really good jungler and then put him on master. You know, this guy is, obviously knows what he's doing. I don't know if he knows how to play like other jungles like Garvin, Wook, oh, Frag, Fragus, all that stuff. But obviously he knows uh, like how what he's oh see I don't like this fight the way we play it yeah this looks bad he doesn't enter a dumb fight that could turn south if he if he did it his his ugly <laughs> Jana his name is ugly bad <laughs> yeah basically his uh, Jana's tilted says GG but uh, you know they have a master Yi who's okay. also the best on the server with the, you know Yi so you shouldn't uh, get tilted because you got the best Yi in the world right. Apparently. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. At level seven, probably after this. Didn't queue this. Wait for his uh, reset. Okay. Let's look at free kill onto maybe Senna. He doesn't get level. Oh, there's a level seven. Here we go. Dodges. The what the hell? How did he dodge that? And it works out. Yo, I want to play Master G. This kind of makes me want to play Master G, guys. I, 
he dodged i don't even know how he dodged it oh yeah um i know how he dodged the q i think uh because you can use your yi to get out he has double strike oh what the heck look at his auto spacing very good auto spacing very good auto spacing i don't know how he's gonna actually well he just press w here right he's meditating hopefully he doesn't die here could be his only mistake this game Janna, oh wow, Janna 1v9ing. He has meditate again, restores a bit of health. He actually meditated to charge up his double strike. And what the heck is this going on? The enemies are very good, guys. He's gonna die this again? He's gonna die. Okay, the dead, the medit. Holy crap, I might die here. The meditate usage, look at him. He meditates so much. He he we play for Dragon. Very, very nice. Like my team is playing so crazy. Like this Jenna heal. This was so nice to have. He it saved me so hard. Very insane, very insane. I know man. And uh, Jean, thanks a lot for the description. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. They are running it. No, I think my team is playing it very well. Because the way I would use Zion it. Did a mistake, is... yes. He didn't respect me. You know, to, to tank less damage, to tank for my team. But he's charging up his hit point as well as charging his double strike to actually get that lethal tempo proc. Um, this galley looks like he's gonna kill him. He looks like he wants a level level seven versus level nine swing. Uh, somehow I think he can do it. Now, no. I don't know if they can kill him. He did get Blade of Rune King, first item. Wow. Yeah, Blade Rune King first item. That is interesting. Most people, I see most Master Yi's go up. Uh, oh. Very good, very good flash. Go up, uh, Cactus Slayer. Very good Galio Yi. Like they're playing so well. Okay. No, he is a ward. <clears throat> Isn't this guy dead? Let's see how to place it. Auto attacks first. Auto attack first. Uh oh. Wait, he kills them all. <gasps> Kill him! What? Okay. No, that was so close to the Q again. The Q again, I killed them all. <gasps> oh! What was that flash? What was that flash? It works out well. Oh. He goes Berserk Grease? 200 IQ flash. Yo, this guy has zero tenacity, by the way. What is this? No. Let me tell you, he's, he ain't going Merc Treads this game. That's crazy to me. Merc Treads against Gragas. Like, this is an, it's very interesting game. What's happening here? Mm. Yeah. I was so close that I can Q again. Oh, that could be good. Count again, can you hear? Uh, Relia E, Scion Q, uh, Swain E, maybe, and I think this guy's dead. Oh, okay. He doesn't even have ult. <laughs> the Master Yi one trick is coming. <laughs> he doesn't even have ult here. He has still ult up. How do you. He doesn't have ult this Yi. Look at this. Look at this, look at what he does. Charges his double strike. He knows the Gragas has no body slam to CC him. Apparently, Rally has no E2. Work is taking. <laughs> the Master Yi one trick is coming. <laughs> they didn't expect scenarios like this. They didn't expect the flash, guys. Why could I flash like this? Because he had no E. You need to read every single small movement of the enemies. The moment he has no E, he has a cooldown on E. And it, during this cooldown, I have a time frame where I can react and kill them. Wow. That's actually insane. GPT is with dive. Yeah. I, I, uh... I do not this. So he sees, he sees the play. I, I don't see the play there. That's, I, I wouldn't have the ball to do that crap. Right, and that, that's that's insane. I would I wouldn't have the ball to do that crap. I didn't know Master could be so mechanical, but he actually is. He can dive this too. Um. <laughs> I even missed it, and I still Marcy is broken, guys. No, I'm just seven kids in area scap. Huge scenario scap, massive. 
I think I would lose like, against this guy, by the what? way. Master, you can do that? No, his master is, is, uh... Wow! He can tower dive me! No! I can't believe it! It just happened again! Like, she, she dies for me in the tower dive? She goes back to late, dies again. And then, I kind of want to see what he does late game, you know? I don't think these games ever make it late game, though. His early game is so good. I'm <laughs> uh, I mean, I wonder who dies here. Hello! It always works. <laughs> it always works. This guy is a challenger player on the US server. And he falls for it. It's very easy doing this trick. You can do this as well in your gold games. Uh, no, no, no. Like, this is not a BM for this guy. He's, JV is a very, very good player. But, I mean, he just he just doesn't know Master. He doesn't see it in high elo besides in areas. So, I guess... <laughs> he basically got a good jungler... You got a good Both jungler, crazy. and you got a good Master Yi. Combine that, you get rank one. Type it in the jet. Yeah. Or in line. Play around this guy, he's pretty good. Wait, I'm just carry you my, my Gust Walker hatchling for a second. I'm so... I guess he can juke all like, of the abilities. Just Who the fuck would ever pronounce his name like this? Oh. Like, who would ever say... Gust Walker Hatchling. Like, Every, okay. Who would ever say that? Do you know why he doesn't go uh, green? I don't even know what that means. Or Berser or uh, Merc I, I actually realized why. The only ability this game that can stop him is is um is a uh, don't go for Herod right now. I just reset. Dragacy. Reposition for dragon, so I can prepare wards. I can get my um, I can get my Gust Walker Hatchling. I don't even remember this. Like you already, I already forgot the name. And I say it. I, I got one. <laughs> Shut can, the fuck out, my friend. He can dodge. Okay, focus. This is my mana come. What am I doing? Why am I talking? He can dodge Sarn Q with his Q. Aurelia E with his Q. Uh, Swain E with his Q. Like, everything is all movement speed based, right? Um. I think I kill him and then I go for. He's thinking about the macro already. What's he gonna go for after though? Oh, dragon. Fuck. Yeah, I mean, that's obvious. That's a little obvious. I was like thinking he was gonna go for a rift round. He presses QE, he doesn't even care about the. I mean, he doesn't really. I think really... it's good if I kill him before. Because now they have the same zero. Ch oh, he gets away? That's not that good. Care about uh, holding his Q if he flashes on the wall, so who cares? I, I think both is fine, getting the Zion kill and the dragon. But I can for sure get both, you know, if I can go Zion first. Yeah, he's pretty good. I'm a chunk to finish, and now let's team fight. Let's go together. Cool. He's gonna die, like, okay, I know what he sees. He sees a dive. I'm gonna see how he pulls this off. He wants to dive this. Look at this. He's gonna dive this for sure. No one is coming. Oh, no, he wants someone to face check. I don't want to team fight now, but okay. You want a team fight? The dive. Get dive, everyone. Uh, someone was coming. Really, huh? Can we oh, kill them all? Nope. Can't. He's got the Gust Walker. Is a P coming? I mean, I can... Aurelia. Is a Scion. Gets an alt here. He's gonna waste their time. 75 seconds on his ulti. But he's, he's just, yeah, the Gust Watch is kind of OP. I think that would have catched me if I didn't. I think he needs to uh, not fight here. But I think he's going to wait out. He's not going to fight without his ult. Technically, no, he can. Like, right now, he has no reason to fight. There's no objective up. There's no tower or something. We shouldn't fight. He's it. It's 1 HP. She has 1 HP. She's only 1 HP. Can you fight this? I don't know, guys. Let's watch. Get to seed. He's gonna use W here. No W to charge up. Meditate. Okay. He's charging up his uh, double strike. That's what he's doing. Oh, he's gonna kill everyone. Yeah, guys, he's killing everyone. He meditates. Still kills him. Lethal tempo. Oh! I don't know. Tank one auto tech shot? I don't know who he uh, focused that team fight, but I noticed he was uh, autoing the minions. 
to get a double strike up. I don't know how. Well played, team. ZZ, well played. Okay, no, nice. Huge, massive. It's massive, guys. He goes full AD, man. Very nice. I think he could pick Master Yun to no CC team, honestly. You want to rally? Oh. Hi, Zinerias. Great stream as always. Why did you go Borg first? I always go um, Kraken first because Noonkeepers are the have to. But sometimes I'm not able to catch Noonkeeper early. And I have to buy like a pickaxe and then a recurve ball, for example. And then I just go Blade from King. Oh. That's weird. Sometimes he has a weird back. That's interesting. I don't know how effective that is going Blade versus Kraken. So he does go Kraken every game. He's going to block it. Yep. And he's not gonna meditate. Dodge, dodge his iron Q. Doesn't care. Bring a wave clear. I'm actually so surprised he's going full AD. Because uh, you'd see two item. And turn. You see two item power spike into. Just go Baron, just go Baron. We ignore this fight. Like, we don't want to take this. Just go Baron. Mid wave into Baron. Right, very safe. He's right about the mid wave. Now it's just good to have a good macro and then we out to win the game, kinda. He's gonna do it straight away. Rebels I don't hide a year troll, yes. Look how much damage he does. What the, what the hell? It's Lane just over. Yeah, I don't know. Master Yi's winner is uh, really high. He's gonna run down uh, Gus Walk. He's gonna Gus Walk in this. Is he gonna go for Rift Child first, though? I think he is. And he's still gonna go for it. Oh, uh, they're taking the hex gate. Might catch here. No catch there. Dust Walker. Gonna reset. I have a drag now. I will group with my team and I want to team fight because we hard win team fights now and I want to stay with them. We are way stronger than them in fighting. In terms of fighting. So we can just go for that. Hey, man. <laughs> you know. Taking this portal is a bit risky because I don't have a team, so I'm gonna go bot then. I think he bans Jack. Like he has to, right? Anymore. We see Gregor Smith and I can push him. He's side mid, I can push him. They're missing now, I need to be careful. Huh. Cool. Be I'm gonna check gonna out chill. who he bans. Now we just split putting 1 3 1. I'm taking the Krax here, absolutely fine. Always Q it because I will get my Q back up anyways. I'll check who he bans for you guys. This is a. a, a everyone needs to know who he bans. Be careful, we it's too late, there. it's too late, Ash. Sorry. You are. You shouldn't die because of Drag. Is he? Is he? Is he? Exactly what I said. Oh, wait. Very easy to track. The only thing they can do is try to catch like here. We push the wave and then we go dragon. Okay, so he bans. Even if they fight, I would just go dragon because if my entire team dies, will we get soul for this? Come on, it's come, on come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm just gonna go for soul. Okay, here we go. He bans. He bans Rakan. I, I, I like that one. That makes, that kind of makes sense. It's annoying. I'm surprised he doesn't ban Jax. And now I'm pushing bot lane. Wait my split. I'm gonna communicate with my team once the again. I should wait my split. You could technically one trick and go rank one. On this one, please. okay, wait, he put Echo here, but who cares? See, yeah. if they fight it, it's bad for us because I'm bot lane and I can't help them at all. They win it nonetheless because they're way too fat, way too strong, and they already got catches, so it's good to take it for them. But it's not necessary, you know? If they just chill and don't fight here, like now we win the game, of course. And check if it they out. just chill and don't fight here, yeah, I can just push. And if they come back to me, they have an item number advantage and then they can fight even better. It's a general coach tip for you as well, guys. Hello, I'm learning. Greetings. Yo, guys, he knows his macro. I, let me just tell you this, guys. He knows his macro. All right. I'm going to check what he bans, though. Uh, if it's just Recon every game, I'm going to let you guys know. He bans Wukong some games, but that's dying. weird. Doesn't actually make sense to me. I think he's swapping, uh, bro swapping. Oh, jungle cap! The he, classic! Sometimes he bans Wukong. It's a classic. Weird. Maybe, maybe it is Rakondo. I'm not sure. Who would have bought another Zinerias classic? So, let's get the blue light today. So basically, yeah, I mean, I, I'm i going to sum it up. He's a good jungler. He's a good Master Yi. Put that together. You get rank one. 
He knows his macro. He knows his dive. He knows his limits on mastery, which is actually real. Is his limits on mastery? He knows, right? He knows his limits. Obviously, this is a little older VOD. I don't want to make an older VOD, but a, a rank nine Master Yi, and also like I'm just saying, I'm I'm just saying, guys, his KDA, it's gray, but he's rank one. It doesn't matter if you're gray, green, or whatever. You're doing something always on the map, and you're int in a few games. Oh my God, this guy's just jungle gapping everyone. And what's Mastery's win? I, I do want to check this one. Mastery win rate? Oh, this is this even high? This looks kind of high. It's hot, huh? It's a little high. No, it's actually not. It's like it's technically balanced, but uh, yeah, it's 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 not. It's like if he's over fifty-two or fifty-one and and platinum above, there, there might be a problem. I think he is fairly balanced, but I think maybe this guy maybe makes him look like he's not balanced. But anyways, thank you for watching. See you guys next time.